Hi guys, welcome back to Vitaly Style. Today I've got a drugstore Target haul for you and uh, I'm really excited to bring you this because it's, you, it's, I picked up a couple of new products from the drugstore that I have played around with and I think you need to get. First of all, what is happening? My hair is a mess. I, I apologize. I need to get my hair dyed. We are going to Florida next week for work for uh, the South Beach Food and Wine Festival and I need to dye my hair on Monday. Anyways. Let's start off with a few things that I picked up from the drugstore that I think you need to get because they are awesome. The first thing is this Milani. Now they have a lot of colors and I'm gonna go back for more. <laughs> I'm wearing it today on my lips. I'm wearing this Milani Brilliance Shine Lip Gloss and the color I have it in is Pink Lady. That's the color. It is the most beautiful formula. It's not sticky like your lips, like it doesn't, get all gunky on your lips when you try to open up your mouth you know what I mean it's just a great formula I love the way it looks on and I wanted to get a few more colors if you have picked up any of these in different colors please let me know which one you recommend because I just picked up the more like pinkish like more universal color to try so that I could you know so that I feel like it would be more flattering on everyone if that makes sense so that's I picked up that and I'm in love with it so I think it's absolutely awesome the next product I picked up I picked up three of them it's these Rimmel show off lip lacquers I picked up one in the color okay Luna I picked this one up in the color stellar and then this one in the color nude eclipse let me show you the one in nude eclipse it's a very beige nude it can make you look like you're wearing um, it can make you look like it can make it, it can cancel out your lips a little bit when you're wearing this one but I think worn properly um, it doesn't if that makes any sense I'm gonna play around with these some more and wear them in videos but I really do like them so far I think the pigmentation is amazing I think the color selection is great oh here my mouth the color selection is fantastic and I just love the way these look on the lips I really do this one is in the color Luna which is my favorite this one right here and then the last one is in the color stellar which is going to be so perfect for summer I can hardly wait for spring and summer it is like the nail the color of my nails right now pretty much it's this one right here they're absolutely gorgeous definitely definitely recommend them I just love the way they look on the lips I'm gonna throw some of this Luna on my lips right now on top of the Milani mm. I don't know I mean it's obviously not true to the color because I'm wearing something else underneath but you can see like you can shear it out or you can really build up the color to um, the intensity that you like but I really really like those so far and um, these three colors were the most kind of universal colors for me that I knew I would get a lot of wear out of so that's why I picked up these three I also picked up you know I just did a review on the physicians formula nude wear line and I told you guys I was gonna pick up the other color blush I have the natural I wanted to go pick up the rose color this is rose right it is yeah the color rose and I did pick it up and this is like when you swirl it all together it's like a blue based baby pink now I'm gonna have to play with this because I don't think this is going to show up on me as nice as the other one but we'll see I haven't worn it yet but because I got this yesterday so I'm excited to play around with that and something else I just have to tell you guys how much I love it it is the L'Oreal boosted high lift creation spray instant lift and fullness I love this I don't know if it's going to do justice now because my hair is kind of I strained it a few days ago but I love the smell I mean it just provides I mean it's a little bit tacky so if that bothers you I'd say don't get it but it definitely I had something in my hair it just like I don't know it gives you volume I love it I really really love the spray look at that it, if you don't like any tackiness in your hair you might not like this but I really like it I like the smell I especially like this if my hair is curly um, like if I curled it the day before and I spray this and I got this a couple days ago and um, I had my hair like semi curl like it was like a regular um, 
like you know how I usually wear my hair, like I've shown you guys with my Velcro rollers. Well, I just sprayed this in the roots the next day and it was perfect. Then I straightened my hair and um, so that's why I haven't tried it yet. I got this and these at CVS a few days ago and then I got the this one and this one um, yesterday. But then last night I went to, uh, oh I got one more thing at CVS. Oh this is like my favorite thing so far. It is the CoverGirl Olay Tone Rehab 2-in-1 foundation, ba foundation and base. This is what it looks like. I saw Lisa, Lisa D1 um, picked this up and she said she really loved it aside from her like high-end foundations that she had tried. I have some of the foundations she talked about and I'm excited to try this one. The color I picked it up in is Golden Tan. I swatched this on my hand and it is pretty tan, uh, but I'm, this is going to match me perfect after I come back from Florida. I know it because I'm going to get some sun, but when you swatch it on your hand, I mean it's really dark compared to my skin tone right now, but when I kept rubbing it in, I mean it just has the most beautiful skin-like finish and even though it's a bit too dark for me I almost feel like I could make this work right now because when you work it into the skin it just has the most gorgeous skin-like finish and it doesn't look like heavy makeup. I don't know I just really really like this so if you have this you picked this up let me know how you feel about it because so far I've just been swatching it on my hands and I'm, I'm telling you I did that like four times already because I just can't get over how beautiful it looks. I mean clearly it's a lot darker than my hand but I don't know, and I also really like the color. It just has like a beautiful um, tan look. It's not, doesn't show up orange, it doesn't show up pink, which I have a problem with a lot of drugstore uh, foundations. They're never the right tone. Um, so this seems good, so I'm excited for that. So from Target, we went into Target last night. I picked this one up because it just looks really interesting and I want to do a review on it. It's called a Jer it's by Jergens and it's called the BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream. Five beautifying benefits and one moisturizer for a flawless appearance. This is what it looks like in the box. I really like the box. I think it's got a real snazzy look to it. This is what the bottle looks like and I got the all medium deep skin tones. I had one for light skin tones but this is the medium skin tones and it says it hydrates and smooths, brightens and illuminates, even skin tone, visibly firms skin, and minimizes the appearance of imperfections in just five days. So I'm excited to give this one a try. Let's see what it looks like. I haven't tried this on my body yet. I just kind of put this on my hand. I'm going to put this on my arm and see. I like the scent, but it's got the scent of like suntan lotion to me. I like that. But if you don't like that, you might not like this. I can't really see any difference on my arms, but I'm excited to see this on my legs. Um, I want to see if this looks natural. I want to. It's a bit tacky. Maybe that'll dry soon. But I like the smell, and I was intrigued by the fact that it says that in five days it does all these great things. So uh, it's kind of like BB cream for your face. It kind of. It's not real like heavy makeup. But it's apparently, you know, BB creams on your face kind of even out your skin tone, gives you a little bit of coverage. Um, so this apparently does the same thing for the body. So I'm excited for that. Um, sorry if I'm making noise, but I have bags in here. I picked up a couple of pairs of sunglasses. Now, I think that, in my opinion, I think that you should always invest in a, a good pair of sunglasses. I have a few pairs of sunglasses that I've invested in, you know, from like Michael Kors and I think a Fendi pair or Prada pair, I can't think of. My Michael Kors one or my Rose Gold Aviators, I feel like they are a classic, they go with everything. So I wanted to invest a bit more because I knew that I would wear them a lot. And my other ones, um, my other pair that I really wear a lot, I think they're, I think they're Prada? I can't remember, I've had them for so long, but they're like the black, you know, square big sunglasses. But when it comes to like really funky pairs, you know, the cat eyes or things like that, I love playing around with the the different shapes at a more affordable prices because I know I won't wear them a lot. And I picked these up from Target because I thought they were really cute. I got this pair, which is kind of like, um, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a cat eye, but it's not as drastic as a, as a cat eye, and there's like a gray color, but I thought these were adorable. How cute are they? So I love those, and I picked those up, they were $16, and then I picked this pair up, um, Joe really liked these as well, and these were $16 as well. 
So you guys will have to let me know what you think of these, but I think they're adorable, and I like the, um, I, I like the, the quality of Target sunglasses. I think they've got great quality for the price, so I was excited for that. Then I got some clothing items, um, just a few things. You will be seeing these on me really soon because I'm going to pack these. I'm getting together my outfits from a Florida trip, and some of these are going to be, um, I'm going to be wearing them there. I'm going to do lookbooks and things like that. I have everything planned, I promise. <laughs> Um, this is the first top I got. It's a tank. It kind of comes right under your belly button. So, for, well, for me, it does anyway. So, it's not really exposing anything. But if you were a really tall girl, this is definitely more of a crop top thing. But for me, it hits right at the belly button, um, which is a comfortable area for me. It's really cute. I like that the back is just a simple gray in the front. It's got that crochet. I picture this with a nice pair of... Um, jean shorts and like a fedora. That's a perfect daytime walking on down South Beach kind of outfit. Then I picked this skirt. This is a black maxi skirt. I had one last year. I got it from Gap. Um, I got it in all three colors actually. I got the black, I got the gray, and like a deep purple. They are so heavy. I can't even tell you. And also, they're short. They come like at my ankle, like a little bit higher than my ankle, which I don't know. I feel like maxi skirts should be really long. They should touch your foot. Uh, but not so that it's dragging, and those are kind of a bit shorter. So I'm going to give those to my sister-in-law because she's like 5'1", and it'll be perfect for her. Uh, because I always said if I was just a few inches shorter, they'll be perfect. But they're actually really heavy, like the material. Like if you hold one up, it's easily like a pound. I'm not kidding. It's a really heavy skirt. So I got this one from Target, and they were expensive too. Uh, this is $17.99. I just got a black one, and I like my maxi skirts that have got like the fold over at the top, only because uh, this is just a plain black. It's very simple, but I love the material. It's really soft. It fits really well, and I, I got girlfriends got hips. <laughs> I have a smaller waist, but I have big hips, so I need something that I can kind of hang right on my hips in the fold like that. I just feel like it's very flattering for my skin, uh, for my skin, for my body shape. Um, so I was really excited to find that. And I also got this color because I thought it was so pretty and summery. It's just a coral and white. It's exactly the same thing. I got them in a size medium. It's a little bit big, but I feel like they're going to shrink. The size small was a, a hair too short. So I'm, they're going to probably shrink a little bit when I put them in the washer. So. I figured why not. Then I got this bathing suit top. Now it looks huge, but you know, I'm, I'm working with some stuff up here, so <laughs> I need some coverage. And this is really cute. I just got the top. I didn't get the bottom because I'm going to wear white bottoms with this. Um, it's like a bandeau top, but look how cute that is. It's got a really pretty mint color. I love the detail, and I figure that with high-waisted shorts by the pool with a fedora hat, drink in my hand, good to go. That's what I pictured with that. It's really cute. It looks huge when I hold it up, but it fits really, really well. Um, and I have a hard time, uh, that's the back, it looks like. I have a hard time getting bathing suits that are um, like a bandeau style bathing, uh, no, bathing suit top because it's a little heavier up there. So you have to make sure that you get something that's going to keep the girls in place. It's going to be comfortable. And I tried so many from Target and I don't always have the best luck at Target when it comes to bathing suits because I feel like they're made for a smaller chest to be honest, but this was really good fit, so I like that. I didn't get the bottom because, I, like I said, I like to mix and match, and I'm going to wear white bottoms with, with, um, with that top. Next, I picked up this uh, dry shampoo. It's called the, it's by Herbal Essences. Apparently, it's a new line. It's called the Color Me Happy Instant Clean and Color Protection in a Luscious Rose Scent. Apparently, it gives you the clean feel of first day hair. It's not supposed to leave a white cast. I have yet to try this. It was only four dollars for some change, and I don't actually have a. Uh, I have the K K M S, I think, spray and play, but that gives a really white cast on your roots. Do not like that. So I'm gonna give this one a try. Is I've heard good things about it, but we will see. I haven't played around with it yet, so I don't know. Um, and because I need some comfort with all my high heels, I picked up these Fab Feet Ball of Foot Gel Cushions picked these up. I prefer the ones from Dr. Scholl's, but I couldn't find them, so I just picked this up. 
Then I picked up this little three of these little containers for my toiletries because I plan on doing a carry-on. I don't want to have to check a bag when we go to Florida, so I'm going to have to put my liquids in these small containers because you're supposed to only bring a certain amount um, when you travel. You can't bring a whole lot. And then I picked up my favorite toothpaste ever, which is the Colgate Optic White. Um, this is the only toothpaste I will use. I even brought, I even bought a small, smaller version, um, not as fat of a tube, it's like a thinner tube to bring with me when I travel. And then I just picked up these Up and Up makeup removing wipes. This I don't use these for my face. I use these for like when I'm swatching things, just you know, clean my hands and um, things like that. So that is everything that I picked up. If you want reviews on any of these stuff, please let me know. Keep um, your eyes out for my look Miami lookbook or. South Beach lookbook, whatever it's going to be called, featuring some of those some of those clothing items. Um, also, I was thinking of doing, and I didn't. I wanted to ask you guys first if you wanted to see it, but I was thinking of doing a like chit chat video, answering a lot of your questions because I posted a picture a long time ago, not a long time ago, but a while back on my Instagram, um, a, the very first episode of Laura in the Kitchen, and then a more recent one, and I mentioned that I lost 26 pounds in the time, in the you know. In, in that time frame, and I had a lot of people ask uh, if I could talk about it. So I wanted to do a chit chat video, kind of touching a little bit on that and answering some of your questions. And uh, if you have any questions that you want me to answer in that chit chat video, leave them down below. If that's something you're interested in, I definitely would like to because what I really have loved about this channel is that I feel like we've created a friendship. Like it's just a kind of like a girl's get. I feel like it's a girl's getaway on this channel where we can talk about anything. I would like to kind of give you advice if you want me to or talk a little bit about certain things. Um, and that's what I really have enjoyed about this channel. It's kind of brought me closer to a lot of you um, that have followed me from Laura in the Kitchen, if that makes sense, because it's seeing a, a more intimate side of me. But anyway, let me know if you're interested in that. And let, if you have any questions for me that you would like me to answer in that video, leave them down below. I would like to get it. I would like to record it tomorrow so that it could go up. Um, so that it could go up on Monday. <laughs> I'm like getting tongue twisted. But anyways, that was everything. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me, and I'll see you soon. Bye.